Misperceptions about what enlightenment is makes it appear elusive. We think it is far away when it couldn't be any closer. We believe it to be obscure and it couldn't be more obvious. Enlightenment also seems elusive because we are convinced that enlightenment equates to a state of perpetual bliss. Who wouldn't chase after the possibility of perpetual bliss? Bliss may occasionally happen, but it's not what enlightenment is. If we seek enlightenment where it can't be found, we'll seek for a very long time. Enlightenment will seem distant if we believe there's something defective about us that must be fixed first. We can spend a lifetime trying to repair all our self-critical deficiencies, and even a lifetime of striving won't be nearly enough time. Thankfully, karmic perfection is not a prerequisite. If we imagine that it is necessary to earn our awakening through meritorious deeds, we may do useful things during our lifetime, but it will not be any guarantee of enlightenment. You can't earn what you already are. If we try to think our way to enlightenment, no amount of philosophical cleverness will get us there. All of our favorite concepts about enlightenment will eventually be obstacles to awakening. I repeat all concepts, every single one of them. The reason what we are is not a concept, it's life itself. Life is not a concept. It's as real as it gets. So what to do? Abandon all ideas of what enlightenment is and what you have to do to get there. Consider the possibility as St. Francis pointed out, that you are already that which you seek. If it is your essential beingness, it could never be absent, not even for a moment. And it must therefore be present now, as you are now. So relax, ignore whatever your mind might be jabbering on about, and notice what is already present before you try to make something else happen. Be open to the possibility that this not knowing, spacious, mysterious presence is your truest nature. It's not a blissful state or any other feeling state. It is that which is aware of all states, all experiences, all sensations, all perceptions, and all thoughts. It's what you are.